Welcome to the Department of Commerce's Bonds Online e-transaction system. E-transactions allows real estate agents to lodge, vary and dispose of bonds at any time in a fast, easy and secure environment similar to online banking. This short video will take you through the process of performing a disposal of a residential tenancy bond. From the e-transactions home screen, select the Bonds tab and enter the bond reference number or other criteria and click search. Once your chosen bond appears, click either the bond reference number or the tenancy address to open the bond detail screen. Scroll down the page and click the request disposal button at the bottom right of the page. This will open the joint application for a disposal of a security bond page. You will not be able to request an electronic disposal if the bond was lodged on a paper form and a mobile phone number and email address was not supplied for all tenants, or if an e-transaction is already in progress or is waiting as a draft. In these cases, a red warning box will appear which will alert you to any issues that need resolving. Before you begin to enter information, ensure that the Online Submission checkbox at the top right of the screen is selected. Next. Begin to complete the disposal details. The cream boxes indicate fields which are mandatory and represent the minimum information required to complete a bond disposal. It is important that the current mobile phone numbers and email addresses are provided for each tenant. If the tenant's information has changed between lodgement and disposal, you will need to let Bonds Administration know by completing the relevant form from the Help menu. Otherwise, additional identity checks may be required that will delay your disposal. The Amount to be paid field is where the bond disposal proportions will be nominated for each of the tenants and the agency. The lease or details are for information only as the bond is agent managed. The agency details will be pre-populated and you will only need to specify the amount to be paid and select the bank account. You will also be able to update the email address if required. The amounts to be paid will be automatically calculated in the bond money section. Check that you have dispersed the entire bond by ensuring the total bond amount equals the current bond balance. Once all the details are complete, click the submit button. A pop-up window will open summarising the tenancy bond details that you have entered. If you need to make changes, click the cancel button to return to the previous page. If the details are correct, tick the I confirm that the details above are correct checkbox and click submit. An email will be sent to your agency to advise that the approval of the payment allocation is required. A pop-up window will then open with the unique e-transaction number generated for this particular transaction. It would be beneficial to record this number for future reference as it allows you to check the progress of the application. Once you have recorded the number, select OK, which will return you to the home screen. From the home screen, you are able to track the disposal by clicking the e-transactions tab and entering the e-transaction reference number. This will bring up the transaction and show the status of the disposal. If you did not write down the e-transaction number, the transaction can also be tracked by using the tenant's name, the leasor's name or the residential bond address details. Select Search once you have the input details. As you can see here, the disposal status is Waiting Agent Approval. This is also indicated by the fact that the transaction is a red colour. At this stage, the agent must approve the payment allocations to proceed further. To do this, click into the Payment Approvals tab and then select Disposal. Once the Payment Approval screen opens, a list of all bonds awaiting payment approval are shown. You can click and approve more than one payment at a time if you choose to. Only users which have approval level access can complete payment approvals. Access levels are nominated when your agency signs the user agreement and can be amended by your agency's employee account administrator. To approve the payment allocations, select the Approve checkbox. Once you have made your selection of transactions to approve, click the Confirm button to the bottom left of the screen, which will appear in another pop-up window. Select Yes to confirm your approval of the payment for the selected transactions. 
Another pop-up window will open, enabling you to generate a PDF report of the transactions you have just approved for payment. Select either Download or Close, depending on your preferred option. Selecting Close will return you to the payment screen. From here, select the Home tab to return to the home screen. With final approval having been completed by the agent, an email will now be sent to the tenant requesting their approval of the disposal payments. At this stage, if the bond or e-transaction is searched, it will show a red status of waiting tenant approval. For a disposal to proceed, all parties must approve the transaction details. If all parties cannot agree and the disposal is not approved within 28 days, it will lapse. If this occurs, all parties will be sent another email advising that the disposal request has lapsed and the agency will need to start the process again. If the parties cannot come to an agreement about how to dispose the bond, you may need to apply to the Magistrates Court or in the case of a residential park bond, the State Administrative Tribunal for a decision. Once all parties have approved the disposal request, the transaction is sent to Bonds Administration for processing providing that all tenants successfully approve the lodgement transaction and that their mobile phone numbers and email addresses match those used in the lodgement transaction, the disposal will be completed automatically and an EFT payment will be made. If the transaction does not meet the requirements for auto approval, the agent will be contacted by email and asked to provide further information. For more information about the Bonds Online e-transaction system, please visit www.commerce.wa.gov.au forward slash bonds online.